Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn English prose. Chapter 27 The Dreadful Guest Once upon a time, the king of Russia decided to hold a grand feast. He invited princes, rich merchants, brave warriors and all the important people in his kingdom. On the night of the feast, the king and his guests sat together at a long table in the banquet hall. They talked and laughed and everyone was happy. Suddenly a huge animal burst into the hall. It was a horrible looking dragon. It was as tall as a tree, as broad as the house, with teeth like spikes and claws like snipes. His skin was hard and scaly and his eyes red. Red hot flames shot forth from his mouth and black smoke from his nostrils. Now this dragon was also a very mean creature. He loved to be a small sport and a killjoy. He walked straight into the head of the table and pushed himself between the king and the queen. Everyone stopped talking. Everyone was scared. Well, not everyone. The brave warrior Ivan was not afraid of dragons. What a rude, impolite creature you are, he said angrily. Just then the servants brought in the food and set the platters on the table. But before they had a chance to serve the food to the king and the queen and the guest, the dragon began to gobble up everything. The king and the queen did not know what to do. Nobody could stop the dragon. But Ivan spoke up again. Nobody has ever taught you any manner I can see, he said. I hope you choke on the food you are gobbling up so greedily. Now this was more than the dragon could stand. He popped out fire and sprang to his feet. I dare you to come out and fight with me, I won. He roared, are you ready? Of course, said the I won. What have you done, I won, said the king. Let's put up with the dragon for some more time. You cannot fight a dragon. It will burn and kill you in no time. But Ivan was not afraid. He knew that dragons were dreadful but not intelligent. He was sure he could find a way to, of killing the dragon. Everyone walked out to the palace courtyard. The garden and the dragon and the brave warrior faced each other. The dragon smiled a very mean and wicked smile. Now how shall I kill you, you silly fool? He asked Ivan. Shall I burn you to death? Shall I smother you with fumes? Or better still, shall I tear you up with my knife claws? Or shall I eat you up with my spike teeth? In the meanwhile, however, the clever Ivan had thought of a way of tricking the wicked creature. He folded his arms on his chest and said in a clear voice, Now look here, dragon, when you dare me to fight you, I agree readily. I thought it would be a fight between just the two of us. Then he pointed behind the dragon. Why have you brought a whole army to help you fight? The dragon was as stupid as Ivan thought him to be. He turned his head to see what Ivan was pointing at. Quick as a lightning flash. Ivan drew his sword and cut off the dragon's head. There, he said, we won't have to put up with the dreadful guest ever again. I hope you have understood this chapter well. Thank you.